Hello beautiful people and welcome again to my channel. I am your baby's doctor and it is always very exciting to have you here. Alright, so today we'll be talking about something nice. Okay, no, maybe not something <laughs> nice. I know when you tell a lot of people about people, they're like, oh, disgusting, don't talk about it, we are eating and all. But when it comes to parents, I salute you guys because, well, parents are like the CIA when it comes to poop. You know, they are looking for clues, looking for things everywhere and just... Uh, trying to find out what is wrong with their child. And the good thing about poop is that poop tells you way more than you know. It tells you about the person, tells you about their lifestyle, tells you what they eat, tells you what they don't do right, and tells you what is wrong with them. And that is why today I'll be telling you everything about poops, all shades of poop. And I'll try as much as possible not to mention poop in this video. Poop, 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 poop. Well, that's almost impossible. Stay tuned. <laughs> welcome back it is always very very nice to have you here how are you doing how are my generals at home i know they are not give, i know 100 percent sure they are not giving you problems at home if you're just joining us for the very first time on this channel thank you so much for stopping by it is always nice to have new people here please keep the like subscribe and notification bell so that you can get notified each time i post a new video thank you so much for stopping by and for those of you that keep coming to this channel week after week time after you guys are the realest forms of mvps available in this world thank you so much for stopping okay so let's get to the business of today poop all right even though i promised that i won't be saying poop a lot i it's almost inevitable so well today we'll be talking about all shades of poop and in talking about this i'll be talking about the normal colors the abnormal colors the normal consistency and the abnormal consistency the normal frequency and the abnormal frequency I, I know you're wondering, how is she so comfortable talking about poop? Well, with the number of parents that come into the emergency room with poop issues, I can't but be comfortable talking about poop. You guys bring it, they even bring it in diapers. If it's not available to show me, they will show me the picture of what it looks like. So please, how in the world won't I be comfortable about talking about poop, okay? Alright, so let's get to it. Let's start with the colors. I'll start with black. Black can be normal or abnormal depending on um, the age of the child. So if the child is in the first few days of life, you just give back to the baby, first day, second day, third day, they pass what we call meconium stools. Meconium stools are the first um, stools that your baby will pass in the first few days of life. And it's usually blackish, sometimes slimy. And so when you see it in the diaper as, as black, some of, sometimes it might have this greenish tinge to it, okay? So that is essentially normal if the child is in the first few days of life. But if it happens later in an older child, in an infant, and then you see that the uh, stools are black, it can be due to uh, two things majorly. First, it can be the diet. So you should watch what you're giving the child. Some of these things that have uh, food coloring in it, black, they can also come out in this tool as black and then the one that is very bothersome is um, bleeding in the upper gut so in the upper part of the intestine or the stomach if there is a form of bleeding they can uh, pass what we call melena stools and these also are blackish tools that are also slimy so if you notice that your child is passing blackish tools that are slimy i think you need to um, seek medical help after your child passes the uh, meconium, which he passes in the first few days of life, first three days thereabout, there is this tool that we call the transitional tool. So this happens when the child has started feeding very well, and then the meconium stools will start changing gradually to what the stool should look like. So at this stage, this tool will be a little bit greenish, and then slowly change to yellowish. So when the stool is yellowish, that is essentially normal too. For a newborn so you see this yellowish tool with some white specks in it that is also very normal for a newborn okay another thing that is actually a newborn that is breastfed another thing that is um, normal for another color that is normal for a newborn is orange so it looks like this orange hue in the stool that is also normal for a breastfed newborn however for a child that is formula fed this tool might not come out as the usual yellow it might have some greenish tinge to the yellow that is also normal for a formula fed baby so these are all normal tools that you find in a newborn in an older child as the child starts um, taking solids and starts um, taking the family diet you expect that the stool should also change so the stool will change from the usual yellowish uh, with white specks or greenish if it's in the case of a formula fed child 
to what looks like a brown. It looks like the adult kind of um, stool. So it has the adult color, which is brownish from a lighter shade of brown to a darker shade of brown. So that is the normal for a um, child that is older and has started taking the family diet. A color of stool that is quite bothersome is whitish or when it's grayish. A whitish stool or a grayish stool that is passed to more than once should call for concern because this can be pointing to a form of um, digestive issue or problems with your child's um, liver or uh, bile tract which means the food is not being digested and when this happens it means that there is a problem with uh, the digestive tract probably the liver or the bile tract so when you have a child that passes a stool that is whitish sometimes bulky and sometimes when you try to flush such a stool it does not go it looks like it's fatty please seek medical help immediately because that means that there might be something more sinister um, to that. Another color of stool is red. Now this, of course, red everywhere means danger, right? Okay, so in this case, it might mean danger and it might not mean danger. It will not mean danger in a situation where you're giving your child uh, something that has food coloring or a, a red colored food like beets in some cases, uh, some children that take um, drinks, a lot of drinks that are colored red. So this would also change, might change the color of uh, this stool in your child. But when the red is due to blood, that is you're seeing blood in your child's um, stool, either a streak of blood, plenty blood, drops of blood, all these are causes of concern. So please, when you see blood, it's like, you know that, okay, it's not like I gave my child something, something that has a red color yesterday or so, and you notice that the stool is reddish, but you can actually even see the visible blood in whatever form, however small. Please seek medical help because as uh, that can be, it can be due to an infection, can be due to what we call an interception and other things that can lead to bleeding in the um, in the gut of your child. So please, when you see red, red is always so a Do not give your child anything that had food coloring or that has a deep color please seek medical help immediately. So another color which I had earlier mentioned, but it's also very important now, is green. Like I said, some, some of your babies, especially those that were formula fed, would have a greenish tinge in their stool. But a child that has green stool, dark green stool, should please be taken to the hospital where this stool should be checked because that can mean that there is an infection ongoing some antibiotics might be needed to treat such conditions so please if your child has a greenish tool and the child is not formula fed please take the child to the hospital red and yellow black and white orange blue and green and brown <laughs> all right now that we are done talking about the colors the possible colors that your child's tool can have it's time for us to talk about the consistency because as as uh, normal as the color might be, the consistency can be the only thing that will be pointing you towards uh, something that is wrong with your child. So the normal stool should actually have the consistency of the semi-solid. So yeah, semi-solid basically. It should not be watery and it should not be hard. It should not be difficult to um, expel by your child. So if you have a child that is grunting or if the stool is really watery and even sits out of the diaper, that there is something wrong somewhere. We have talked about the color, we have talked about the consistency. Uh, now it's time for us to talk about the frequency. Now this varies from child to child. In the younger ones, the newborns, they can stool up to five to six times a day. In fact, sometimes the more they eat, the more they stool. It's something that we call a gastrocolic reflex. So when you're feeding the child, the child is stooling. That is essentially normal in a newborn. When this occurs, please, if you are bothered about the uh, number of times your child has stooled, you should check the stool. Check it. Check the color. Is the color normal? Is the consistency normal? Are there food particles? Are there, uh, is there mucus in it? Is there blood? Those are some of the things that will make you feel, uh, okay, maybe this, this is not the normal uh, stool that my child should have. But a newborn can stool for like about six times in a day and that will be normal. Now for an older child, you'd expect that a child should stool about once or twice a day. And in some cases, some would not even stool in a day. In fact, after the newborn period, especially um, when your uh, children are around that second, third month of life, they would even go days without stooling. 
and then of course a lot of parents will be bothered here my child is constipated they try a lot of things to relieve this but in a lot of cases this is very normal your child can even hold your child can hold the stool for like up to four to five days but then when it goes beyond this time you might need to seek medical help to be sure that there is nothing else uh, going on with your child but it's very normal for your child to stay constipated so to say for a number of days so the frequency like i said of tooling in a child varies it varies with their age and even in, with their person it also varies with their diet when a child grows older and you start introducing family diet you start giving things that are solid like bread yam and all those you might also expect that the child will be constipated so in this kind of situation you should make sure that your child takes a lot of water there are some danger signs that you should look out for in your child's tool like i said at the beginning of this video that your child's tool can tell you a lot about your child and can tell you a lot that is going on with your child so there are some things that you should watch out for in your child's tool once you have those things in their tool it is a reason to seek help number one is mucus your child's stool should not have mucus on a normal day. So if you notice that your child passes a stool and it's slimy, it has some mucus in it, please seek medical help. It can be a sign of an infection ongoing. Another thing is blood. Blood is never normal in stool. So the moment you find blood in your child's stool, please seek medical help immediately. Another thing is food particles. You shouldn't find food particles in your child's stool. So if you find it in the first one, okay, you can observe such a child, but if you see it coming frequently, then you should actually seek medical help. So those are some of the things that you shouldn't find in your child's stool. And I want you to know that uh, as scary as some of these things are, there are always solutions to them. So please do not panic. Do not, uh, do not go to Google and be looking for all those scary things that you would always find on Google. But please just go to the hospital, go to the certified medical center, tell them what the problem is. If you have pictures of this tool, please take it along with you and let them examine your child and give your child the appropriate diagnosis and treatment that is necessary. So thank you again for joining me today. We are talking about poop and all that. <laughs> it was so nice hanging out with you. I mean, your baby's doctor, shining light on your child's health and well-being. Remember to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so that you can get notified each time I post a video. Thank you so much. It is always a pleasure hanging out with you.